Hello everyone, Tetsuo315 here and uh, today I wanted to show you my MIDI organ console. So, um, last video you saw of me was me playing this, but uh, it has grown some extra controls. Uh, so a little history. Uh, in 2001, and as I talk about this I'm just going to kind of show you various angles of the machine here. In, uh, in 2001 I was a music major University of Akron, vocal music education, and uh, at some point I took a liking to pipe organs, um, the way they sound, uh, how it's all put together, their controls, um, a lot of science involved in the design of a pipe organ, not just the console so much, but um, the facade, the pipe work, um, there's a lot of research that goes into this, it's, 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 it's a whole the art form has become a science and unfortunately it's dying um, and I want you guys to know up front that I do not in any way want you to think that uh, digital organs um, are better than the real thing. The real thing is always better but uh, what it's coming to is pipe organs are expensive to build and digital organs may be our only way unfortunately to preserve their sounds but uh, for this purpose was was not um, not so much replace a real pipe organ but to find a way to practice at home since I was a music major at the time I wanted to start organ study but uh, I never furthered uh, that I had to leave the university due to financial reasons um, I am now a IT professional in training uh, but that this combines um, my two loves, um, pipe organs, playing, listening, electronics, um, and of course IT work, um, computers in general. So it all started with the choir manual you see right there. Um, it, that is a Yamaha PSR 281. In fact, all three of these are just cheap MIDI keyboards. That's, those are two Casios. Um, not the same models, but the same functionality. Um, bought it as a practice instrument. It was a floor model, as a matter of fact, demo unit. And I got a deal on it. Got it just um, for the purposes of vocalizing, learning theory. Not so much as a practice instrument for piano, since the keys aren't weighted. But as it turns out, uh, keyboards uh, are okay for organ purposes. Um, eventually, I will modify these keys um, so that they are a little tighter um, maybe give them a tracker feel with some magnets um, I added uh, pistons these are feel more feel more momentary push button switches um, those three right there that represent my 2T control are Radio Shack momentary push button switches and uh, they each have an indicator light um, General cancel, of course, turns them off. Some organs, the 2D control is not uh, coupled to the general cancel. That's how I designed my organ through the J organ software. That's 3.4. That's what I got running right there. Um, and all these pistons are controlled by this uh, mystery box that I showed you just a moment ago. Come back here. Inside that little box right there that I have labeled combination controller is actually a computer keyboard encoder. All these buttons are combined uh, to represent a certain row and column which in turn represents a certain uh, digit, letter, or function like uh, function 1, function 2, caps lock. And in fact that's what these three buttons are. We got scroll lock, number lock, and caps lock. I decided to use the uh, the indicator lights on the encoder as indicator lights from my 2T control. And I have uh, um, encoded the, uh, the, J the J organ software in such a way that uh, when I push my uh, general cancel, those lights go off. For some reason, I can't get my number lock to go off. Um, in fact, I use the Bohm's MIDI translator to help me out with that. <coughs> the pedal board 
is a, I can't remember if it's a Rogers or an Allen, but it comes from an old uh, 1960 digital organ. I believe that would be Allen. If it isn't Allen, it's Rogers, it's one of the two, I don't know. Um, an organ builder from Lorraine provided this to me. He said I could have it as long as I drove up to and over to Lorraine here in Ohio. And he gave me this uh, theater organ, organ bench for free. I offered to pay for all this. He's like, nope, I just want to get rid of this stuff. He was going to offer me a full rank of pipes, pistons, and draw knobs, and the whole whole works. Sam's, uh, stop action, action magnets. Uh, I, at the time, didn't know what to do with all that stuff. I was afraid if I got a hold of the Sam's or the Sillons, I would have burnt them up. So I just didn't bother with that. I just humbled myself, took the pedal board and the, uh, and the bench. Down below here is my foot controls. I've got my <clears throat> FCB uh, 1010, Behringer FCB 1010. Uh, those represent the um, the generals on the feet, as well as these uh, top two manuals are my generals. Um, divisionals, of course, down the center. Um, haven't decided what I'm going to do with use with these five. Probably going to be uh, uh, either pedal or couplers. Who can say? I haven't decided yet. Uh, choir and small shoes. The sustain pedal also doubles as a combination lever. And the seven uh, toe studs are my uh, pedal division control. Love. Two on the bottom right here are my 2T control that double with the 2T control at the top. These are actually CPVC. Um, it's a one inch CPVC with a cap sanded and rounded off to make it look pretty. We've got um, a momentary push button with grommets behind the little silver washer there that you can't see to center that and keep it secure. And that fits perfectly over a three quarter inch um, reducer fitting. Um, but for the purposes of combination action, it works well. <coughs> um, and this uh, right here is my uh, Korg Nano Control, which will also be my coupler rail and I can use these uh, sliders and knobs to control various parts of the organ if I wanted to change some um, the dynamics of the pipes um, if one sample set is too loud or too too soft I even have transport control that I can couple to uh, um, audio software professional audio software so that I can start a recording session without leaving the console um, and a wide piece of plexiglass, which should, I would like to have it be the whole length of the keys. But that's, that's long enough. And then all this is controlled, coupled together with an AMD K62. This does not produce the sounds, but it provides me as a remote uh, console. It is all sent over to here to two AMD. Athlon processors, these are X2s, dual cores, 4200s. One there, chairs covering up, one down there is the PSP, one right there. Uh, Ethernet MIDI uh, couples those two together. Eventually I'll get a USB MIDI, MIDI jack to help me out with that. And then it's all coupled together with Cavier Cole uh, J organ samples. Got the Cavier Cole, the North German Baroque by Wright Organs. Uh, Bruce Stratman's um, American Classic Organ, the Steermacher's Jude Orgs 2, and of course Houtberg. I use uh, these uh, four programs right here, the Steermacher's, the right organs, and the uh, Stratman organ samples combined to make a very realistic pipe sound. By themselves they they come close, but they're synthetic. But uh, all of them together produce um, that right breathy chorus effect that you're looking for in pipe sound. So there you have it. Um, the next video I make will be um, all about the uh, how it operates. I'll demonstrate its operation.